BMF wasn't no movement for the people. It was a bunch of drug addicts being being in, went from one state to another, not putting nothing against them. They was a gang, a, a dope gang. What benefit did he, he didn't buy no projects. He, in his whole term, they made $270 million. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And ain't nobody told you no difference. Wow. I got to ask you about, uh, I got to ask you about um, Rick Ross. Uh, Rick Ross, um, you know, not the, the real Rick Ross, not um, the rapper Rick Ross. I never asked you about that, but 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 he, he I think okay Rick he went to jail and Rick Ross came out, but Rick Ross Rick Ross uh, Rick Ross was, was a, a guard in jail. He was a guard in he jail didn't too. Ask him to use his name. Told him he was. Did he, he was, ask him? I don't he, think he asked him. He, he, he from allegedly, allegedly I wasn't there. I asked at that time. Rick had a life sentence. Didn't think he was getting out, and he like man, I, I like your name. I like your name. Uh, I, I, yeah, man. I, I, I'm trying to do some rapping and I'm doing this. So I guess Rick, I wasn't there. So, okay, bro, go ahead. You know, just look out for me. Right? So he came out and used the name. He's the hip hop police. You know? So once a guard, always a guard. You know what I'm saying? You're the police, you know? So, so you, so you had, when this all was happening, you were where you was out. You was in in the streets during that time, right? No, I was in prison. And you heard about this whole situation. No, well, when this, the, I was on the street when Rick Ross came and allegedly made some of my homeboys. He was guards with. Uh, so, matter of fact, Ducky works with him right now. You know, one of the one of my homies. Uh, he he worked with work with Rick, and he was. The and other Rick Ross, the, the, the rapper other, Rick Ross, the, the rapper Rick Ross, Ricky Rose. He he still works with him to this day. Yeah, I believe. Okay. I, the last time I I checked, I think he might be the only rapper that was a was an officer. He was the only rapper that that I've seen do that. You know what I mean? Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, some of them is undercover. Really? Yeah. You know. Okay. So, so, so I was getting to the point. I know you've seen. Uh, I had um, uh, Rainwater on here. He's a frequent guest of Boss Talk 101, oh, just yes. like yourself. Yeah. And uh, I asked him a question. Who do he think had the most, you know, the the, the most successful run in the in this drug era? Was it Big Meech or was it uh, uh, Freeway, Ricky Ross. Freeway Ricky Ross or Frank Lucas? And he said, Rick really didn't, you know, he didn't do nothing. He didn't have nothing. You you seen it. Even they throw Frank Lucas up in there. Who was the biggest out of these guys? Oh, Frank. You think Frank bigger than all of them? Because mm -hmm. he went to the connect. And, um, and Meech Me was just doing some street shit. But well, they had a was lot bigger of than, cities, man. But he said Meech was bigger than Freeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't know nothing about either. You didn't know, you didn't know nothing about Freeway? You didn't watch a snowfall? You know what I'm saying? But we ain't know nothing about him. We ain't none of that, man. Big Meech, powerful. The only, people, wait, the only reason people knew about Meech is because of that song. Right, no, 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 but we knew no, about... No, 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 we yeah. knew about BML. Yeah, we knew about BML. And you ain't shit, you ain't legendary till you put some, till you, till you actually put somebody on in the world and see you put them on. Who Freeway put on? Yeah, so, little Brother is a fan. He, 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 he's a, he's a TV hype man. He don't know the actual facts or... Rick started in 1982, 1983. He had a 10-year run for three and a half, maybe four years. The police didn't even know who he was. Allegedly, the police say they made a couple of busts, and Rick Ross walked right past him. They thought he was a crackhead. He stayed so low-key. You dig what I'm saying? But for 10 years, it's written that he made over $900 million in his run. This is what white America say, that he made over $900 million. The Contra Costa, the, the agent, stole $40 million from him and put it over to their, their, their drug, their, uh, their, took the money from him. Went in his bank account, did some shit, all in his foreign accounts, but 
You talk about success, he wasn't flamboyant. He's not flamboyant. He don't wear jewelry. But he put over in California alone. He, you, know, you look at, well, Rick Ross and, and the drug. Do you realize how many people, this is an entrepreneur that put black people to work. You got dudes that never graduated from high school became accountants. Do you know how long it takes you to count a million dollars? He was making from one to three million dollars a day. Do you know how you have to put up transporting and put a transportation department together to transport drugs from one place to another, to another state? But isn't that what all of them was doing? All of them was transporting porting drugs from one state to the next. So, But I think that the thing that he was talking about is the fact that like, when you look at BMF, BMF was a movement. With Rick, it was just him. It didn't seem like he was creating a movement for the people. It wasn't no movement. BMF wasn't no movement for the people. It was a bunch of drug addicts being being in, went from one state to another, not putting nothing against them. They was a gang, a, a dope gang. What benefit did he, he didn't buy no projects. He In his whole term, they made $270 million. That's what they made. $270 million. And they put a couple of people to work, a couple of people, 189 of them went to prison. Rick didn't take all his homies to prison with him. He wasn't flamboyant. Like, how, how many people you think got away with that? That got legitimate jobs from working with Freeway Rick and his drug on his age, that he made women learn how to do different things, how to cut up this, this girl's right now working in the pharmacy from cutting drugs with Rick Rose. Ooh. Mm. So when you look at the benefit, the greatest good for the greatest number, he had more money than meets them. He had more product than meets them. They said he did over 900 tons of cocaine in, the, in, in a 10 year period. So when you look at the actual facts, Frank Lucas, another in the Heron world. Uh, I mean, uh, Frank, uh, Frank, Frank Matthews. Yeah, Frank no, Lucas. no, I'm talking about Frank Matthews. Okay. okay. Frank Ma Frank Lucas, I, I don't know nothing about him. There's yeah. just some, to come up. But the money man in New York was Frank Matthews. Frank Matthews, he was so vicious. I think it was the Gambini. Now, don't get me wrong. One of them crime <laughs> families. You know, it's gonna come. Uh, it wasn't the Gambinos. It was the Jenny Vonchies. I'm from Compton. There ain't none of them was in Compton. But, he bought a house right across the street from the mob. And when they found out about it, he said, if anything happened to me and my children, all of y'all is gone. He had a pressure so hard and pushing him. He went to court, had a million dollar bail in the 70s and walked out of court. And nobody know where he been. Nobody even heard wow. from him since. Wow, man. Frank Matthews. Wow. So when you when, when you talk about big, like we look at Snowfall. Snowfall is not directly about Freeway, Freeway Rick. Mm -hmm. It's about Waterhead Bo too, Bo Bennett out of California. When they arrested him in his house in Tempe, uh, Arizona, he had a, a, a underground safe. He had so much money they had to weigh it. He said it was seventy tons. Mm. Wow. Twenty four years old. So when you talk about rich. <laughs> This meets them coming in 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 the shadow of a gang. We can we I'm now talking about Michael Conception's business, but he is the big dog. When you talk about a gangster being rich and elevated, never had a rest. That man ain't walked since '78, I think. Shot eleven times and do better paralyzing niggas do with five legs. Damn. Michael Conception. Michael Conception. I've heard you mention his name before. Yeah, Melvin talks about him. That's anyway. Melvin's homeboy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he's the biggest dog on the West Coast. To this he, day. To, uh, I wasn't there. Allegedly, <laughs> before he left, went to the Dominican Republic. He had a house so big in Encino. I was working for a family, lived up on the hill, and Mike came up there. He wanted to. He had his house built from the ground up. Their houses was $15 million to buy them. He got a house, a multi-mansion. He got, uh, you go in, in, his, in his bathrooms, they got a fireplace on this end and a TV on this end in the bathroom. Wow. With the sunken tub. Got the, man, studio. He used to shut the strip club down every Tuesday. And he would buy out Barbary Coast, um, 
what's the other one? Stars, and have all the strippers come to his house. Mm. You know, balling out of control. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.